In this report, I'm going to tell you how German automotive and political heavyweights support the entrance of Tesla Giga Berlin despite red tape, building without permit, environmental concerns, and local resistance. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla, Giga Berlin, and electric vehicle news. And give us thumbs up, please, if you uh, sharing in social media. That would be greatly appreciated if you like this video, if you find it informative. So here are two examples how German political and uh, uh, automotive heavyweights support Giga Berlin. But I'm going to present you more examples after this. For example, economic minister Peter Altmaier called Tesla's announcement in late 2019 a quote-unquote milestone for the rollout of electric mobility and the production of battery cells in Germany. He said the investment will enhance Germany's status as an automobile industry location on an international level. The German Automation and uh, Association of Automotive Industry explicitly welcomed Tesla is uh, welcomes that Tesla is coming to Germany. It's good for the business location and shows its high com competence. WVDA uh, had. Um, Hildegard Müller told a conference in early 2021, he said, many suppliers will benefit were leading Europe in the production of electric cars, she added. So here are two examples, but I'm going to present you more examples, including examples from Volkswagen and so on. But let me first say that Giga Berlin is located in the sparsely populated and largely uh, forested municipality of Grünheide, around 35 kilometers southeast of Berlin, where Tesla bought a plot of land measuring about three kilometers square that had been reserved for an industry project for around 20 years. BMW considered building a car plant at the same site two decades ago, but eventually opted for Leipzig instead. I've been in BMW's Leipzig plant. It's very beautiful. It's a great place and ec uh, ecologically lots of trees planted and so on. Now, to lure employees to the Giga Berlin site, Tesla stresses its natural surroundings close to the vibrant city of Berlin. Even though construction of the factory is at an advanced stage, authorities still have not granted Tesla a final permit. German law allows company to proceed with construction on the basis of provisional licenses in spite of outstanding questions regarding the factory's environmental impact, with the caveat that the US carmaker Tesla would have to dismantle its construction and reform the area should the Giga Berlin's licenses ultimately be denied. In April 2021, Tesla criticized that slow approval process for Germany industry and infrastructure projects stand in way of urgent climate action efforts as the carmaker continued to wait for the final approval of Tesla Giga Berlin. Tesla Brandenburg has experienced firsthand that obstacles in Germany approval law slows down the necessary industrial infrastructure infra, infra, in, uh, transformation and thus the transport and energy transition, wrote the Tesla subsidiary in a statement released as part of legal case at the regional higher administrative court. The authorities' approval process might appear to be slow, but really it's extremely fast by German standards, friends. Getting the necessary approvals to build a single wind turbine can take several years in the country. The rapid progress of the Tesla Tesla factory also can uh, contrast sharply with Berlin's new airport, which only opened in late 2020 following a delay of almost a decade, explains Clean Energy Wire. And so the speed of the Giga Berlin project is partly due to Tesla being prepared to take large financial risks. I think it's cost $100 million. Tesla had put that money in there in the bank account in case that it has to dismantle. But the relevant authorities have also made great efforts to allow a rapid realization of Tesla's Giga Berlin factory, Giga factory plan. Shortly after the announcement that Tesla had chosen this location, the state government launched a dead 
dedicated task force to coordinate and speed up the project without interfering in the approval process. The task force includes not only all the affected ministries and Tesla delegates, but also local representatives. I am pleased that Brandenburg shows with Tesla how our laws and funding opportunities can also be used to get things done in a short time. Chancellor Angela Merkel told uh, Redaktion Switzerland Deutschland in late 2020. Federal Economy Minister Peter Altmaier promised Musk the government will help Tesla in any way possible to get the Giga Berlin plant ready as soon as possible. We are very proud of your car plant in Brandenburg and we wish you good luck with that, Altmaier told Musk. You'll have every assistance you need, he said. Now, what does this mean? And I'm going to present you reactions and commentary, supportive reactions for Giga Berlin from German automotive and political heavyweights. First, Economy Minister Peter Altmaier called Tesla's announcement in late 2019 a milestone for the rollout of electric mobility and the production of battery cells in Germany. He said the investment will enhance Germany's status as an automobile industry location on an international level. Second, the German Association of the Automotive Industry, called VDA in Germany, explicitly welcomes that Tesla is coming to Germany. It's good for the business location and shows its high competence, VDA head Hildebrand Müller told a conference in 2021. She said, many suppliers will benefit. We're leading Europe in the production of electric cars. You can hardly think of another investment that would be more useful to the car nation number, car nation number one. That's the third. Volkswagen CEO Herbert this said in a social media post in early 2020. He said, from battery cells and electric vehicles to the digitalization of the car and autonomous driving, Tesla is a key driver. Volkswagen AG welcomes the new neighborhood because it makes it easier for us to create the German ecosystem for the automotive engineering the future, he added. The kind of healthy competition makes Germany better and more innovative. Innovative. It is the third one. Elon Musk is going where his strongest competitors are, right into the heart of the global auto industry. Jürgen Pieper, a Frankfurt-based analyst with Bankhaus Metzer, told Bloomberg in early 2020, no other foreign car maker has done that in decades given Germany's high wages, powerful unions and high taxes. Uh, locating the plant in Germany gives Tesla an expensive but highly qualified workforce, said automotive analyst at Global Data column McRae in late 2019. There is a huge amount of value in the automotive manufacturing and supply chain clustered on Germany that Tesla can draw upon, and the Made in Germany tag still carries significant weight in the premium car market. Here's another one. The Berlin location serves two unique goals, said Gene Munster, managing partner at venture capital firm Loop Ventures in late 2019. It's strategic to lure German automotive talent to Tesla, and it's a statement that Elon wants to one-up auto companies from the region. Tesla decision is a huge game for the mobility transition and the transformation of the German car industry. Christian Hochfeld, head of clean mobility think tank Agora Werkerswende, told Clean Energy Wire in 2019. Tesla puts German car makers under pressure in the shift to green mobility and will give them a run for their money. Here is another one. Musk's decision to build a plant in Germany must be seen as a declaration of war. Tesla's decision to produce cars in Germany means the race for electric car supremacy is now under in the same country where the car engine was first invented. Hendrik Bohm commented on Deutsche Welle in 2019. And another one, the electric car pioneer long laughed at by the German companies is attacking Volkswagen, Daimler and BMW head on on their home market as a producer, employer and engineer, wrote German mobility newsletter Tagesspiegel background in 2019. 
Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about these feedbacks that we have received uh, about Giga Berlin from uh, German political, social, and automotive heavyweights industry leaders. I think Giga Berlin is going to really speed up the transition uh, with 500,000 vehicles yearly of electric vehicles. I would like to hear your comments. And in the meantime, this is Armin Haria from TorqueNews.com. Friends, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla electric vehicles, specifically Giga Berlin. In Giga Shanghai and Austin, Texas news. And also, um, we're looking for Tesla reporters and electric vehicle reporters. We're hiring. If you are interested, please let me know in the comment section below. Actually, contact me through the contact information on our about page. And I look forward to hearing from you. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share in social media. I would greatly appreciate that. Helps me tremendously. And I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And I'll see you soon. And I'll see you soon.